Maybe inspect the mask again? Such a gaudy mask. Is this really proof of the serial killer? No, that's stupid. The killer just uses it behind it. Uh, I have to talk to everyone? Huh? <laughs> Sparks of Justice is a serial killer who randomly appears and claims to be an ally of justice. No. Oh, why did that win me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we have to She's the easiest caution. voice. <laughs> oh my. Miss Sonia, she looks strangely excited. Oh. Awesome. That's like a powerful Gap Moe. Mm. What does that mean? I can't remember what Gap Moe is. Man, I don't really get it, but nice one, princess. That Miss Sonia is something else. This, this guy's is just so laid back. Gap Moe is when a character does something completely contradictory to what they're what they usually do. Essentially, okay, that makes sense. Cause like Moe is like the cute factor usually, so it's like a cuteness based off of contradiction. Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find I, that out? I'm actually kind of attractive now that I look at you, but I like what? I I don't know. Why I did it in his voice. I was like, he had like a very attractive pose, and like he's actually kind of attractive, and it's really upsetting because he's. It scared me. <laughs> I thought you were like reading, but that wasn't exactly. It wasn't even close to what. I was like, um, <laughs> just, just like the body, the, the corpse is down here in the basement somewhere. Just like totally, uh. What? Anyways, <laughs> after listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. What? Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's oh. cottages. Well, what? Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed to access them for the investigation, so he simply let me in. <sighs> that bastard. He did something shady again. No. Oh. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. <laughs> Nagato squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Nagato started doing squats. <laughs> Come on, Hajime, take Let's a look. Let's get thick. Oh, God. Ooh, oh, what? Oh, after all, I went to the trouble of gathering all this. Those footprints. I see, so the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everybody's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko is, wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious the footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hiyoko Sayonji. Yeah. We saw her running on the fucking beach. <sighs> but we still don't know how who is in here to murder. Right. And they're gonna be like, oh, it was Hiyoko. She was running away. But Wrong, no, yeah. they got away through the window. I know their shit. Usually. Okay. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Hiyoko's. Well. To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself in her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps... So, I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. Oh, well, kind of. <laughs> yeah. But it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected um, there was smaller than anyone else's, and it matched the footprints at the beach house. Which we're at. <laughs> yep, there's no mistake. These are Hyoko's footprints. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting in her cottage. Something interesting? Yes. See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. That's... They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. The flavor is melon. <laughs> Melon's like a popular Japanese flavor. It's very good. Have you ever Melon had is a class of fruit, though. <laughs> Yeah. So it's strawberry. And grape. Oh, no, I see what you mean. Well, yeah. Wait. Cantaloupe is a melon. Yeah. Oh. Either way, have you ever had, like, those, like, melon, like, mochi? They're really good. Um, it looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently, she really likes the brand of gummies. 
There should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. <laughs> people are like that sometimes. There are people who will get only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case, coming from this guy, that means it probably greatly relates to the incident. Well, yeah, you found the gummy. Oh, ding dong, bing bong. Oh, ding dong, bing bong. Do you want to go through the first half? Ding dong, bing bong. Um, it's up to you. We can either do it in one shot tomorrow, which that will take a while, probably. Yeah, I, it's probably a... Well, the last trial was like, what, three hours? Yeah, because when did we start streaming? 7.45? Yeah, it's been like about two hours almost. Yeah, I mean... We can like go through the first half, because I'm curious. Yeah! I'm down. I have nowhere to be. The time for unparalleled hedonism... Yeah, to I'm gonna end. check my horny game. Okay, unparalleled hedonism. Oh, Come. <laughs> well. Now is the time to fight the decisive battle, the hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Now then. Wait. What? Horny Wait. game. Uh, gotta read still I, first. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh. Ah, looks like it's time to... Time. I guess the investigation is over. Um, so it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. I mean, right. by that logic, yeah. <laughs> now then, let's go prove it. What if he's just, like, gonna just actively detract from the case? Like, like try to mess us up? Yeah. Oh, he will. <laughs> like, he's... But it's just not even, like, helpful in any way. It's just like, oh, we found this. He's like, you're wrong. It's a bird. He's like, I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There's no escape. It's not just you, Hajime. Yeah. This is all of our lives. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiro's body. Why do they all have such different uniforms if they clearly had the same uniform at one point? Well, they did in the first one, too. Did they? Yeah. Why? I mean, in the first one, it was kind of easier because, like, they were all... A lot of them weren't in school uniforms. They were just, like... Like, um, Hina was, like, just in, like, her swim gear, like, so that made sense, but... I don't know why I'm just realizing. Well, like... It's fine. Character design. I mean, like, Hero was kind of, like, in a uniform. Yeah. I'm, like, one of those, like, lasers. Am I already here? I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I hope it starts a voiceover because I gotta go pee. Soon it will. It's not. No, let me go. Help me. Well, <laughs> um, he's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Who are you? Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita. Oh, no. Yeah. Stop hey, stop harassing little girls. This is what's going on. Jeez. Yoko. We, he wasn't around at all. At all, actually, yeah. Like, we saw Gundam, but we didn't see him once. No. That is weird that he didn't show up, like, once. Um, Yoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. But Yoko's still trying to run away, so Monokuma's trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. Hey! <laughs> oh no. Hey! If, I don't know. If you don't stay put, I'll. 
I'm gonna <laughs> shut up. I'm gonna make you a part of the silence food chain. Hey. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Give him. <coughs> uh, stop. Jeez. Making me waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? That guy. He he totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Ah. <laughs> See, I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> what, what's happening? Oh! <laughs> He got that ring fit. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, his, <laughs> his anger changed his form. I'm right here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. Why? I don't like this. I don't like this game. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fuyuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. There's nowhere for me to run anyway. So no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? What? But still, I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fuyuhiko, what does that mean? Well, it looks good. If the trial heats up, it, it's all good. Anyway. Anyway, looks like everyone's here. So let us depart now. See ya later. I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. This is bad. Crap, I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like, that was very short-lived. <laughs> Do we even have to prepare? Show some spirit. If you don't have enough power, harness your latent energy. Come on, bring out that energy. <coughs> oh, I hate doing his voice. And his is D2, fuck. <laughs> uh, so it begins. The beginning of the end. <laughs> now, now then. Let's keep our spirits high, so we can one day find that shining hope. It's just like a parody of everyone at this point. Yeah. That's right. I can only... Moving forward is the only option. Yeah. I'm gonna go pee. Okay. Oh, God! <laughs> what? Legs. What happened? He just hurt. Okay. Bye. Now that we're alone, I don't know if any is watching, and I don't know how to check. But if you're there, how are you doing? If you're not there, I'm talking to myself. And that's fine. I really want another cheeseburger. Oh, God. Oh. I wonder if we should just continue. We could probably just continue. Now I'll wait for him. Ugh. I don't know how to entertain you at this point. I trying to think of a story. Um, what's a good story that isn't incriminating? Um, I can't think of a story. I could tell you about a movie I haven't seen. <gasps> have you seen WandaVision? Wait, if you guys have seen WandaVision, Go fucking watch it. Get Disney Plus. Go watch it. It's really fucking good. I was tweaking. I was tweaking the fuck out. Oh. Oh. I did not realize that was that loud. Oh. It's really weird, though, because, like, she's starting to get her accent back, but only when she's upset. That could be a thing, but I I've never seen it. Although, I you know, I feel like that happens to my abuela sometimes. Like, in... I don't know. But it's really good. It's kind of like Black Mirror esque now. I didn't have things to talk about. Are you talking to anybody? I, I don't know if anyone's there. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how to check. <laughs> I brought Lady Gaga Oreos. Oh, God. All we need. I will... Get one. Okay. Uh, oh! Go one. Go one. Good job, bud. <laughs> oh. 
Jeez, no matter how many times I feel it, it sucks what I taste. I hated that. <laughs> no worries, the lowest, most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short, and I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock, oh God. we got eated. Yeah. A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair, as if my heart was a rotten fruit swelling in the sun before it finally goes swish. Ooh, poetic. <laughs> I suddenly stopped breathing. I was like, Hajime, die! <laughs> He's doing that thing the kids do. Hold their breath until they get what they want. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually re weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Ah! Aim! Defeat the boring routine! So... so, I've decided to start redecorating. How does it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I'd allow you to do to think otherwise anyways. That is. To go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate, really, what is your true intention? No, no! Nothing really. Essentially the killing this killing game is just to, to kill time away. What? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. But still. <laughs> kill time? Yeah! To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Like... A purpose is only gonna be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the group, in the bunch. Ugh. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap ass purposes like trying to survive. And enjoy the glass child from the bottom of your hearts. It's starting. Class trial is starting. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality. We already said this. Let's make sure it's straightforward. The person that killed her. Well, it's not Teru Teru. No. Is among us. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but. Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from find <coughs> Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way. Jesus Christ. That was almost vomit. Please don't vomit on stream. For us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Remember to equip skills. I really don't think we have that many, but... We only have like two. Nope, just one. Cool! Thought we had more than that, but... I was gonna say, can we buy some now? Just gonna be buy in this menu. There we go. Well, we got charisma. We have 18 that we can spend. We haven't done a logic dive yet. I've already forgotten the thing about the sword. I don't remember how to do that. Well, we can read the directions again if we need to. Doing like the um, is that the the, the beat? Uh, yeah. yeah, that could be useful. Yeah, 
Six inch chest. <laughs> See, I told you it's all of them. He's 147 pounds. He's tiny. He's a child. They're all minors. <gasps> I know, but still. They're I think they're literally freshmen in high school. Which is like sophomore in high school here. He likes pretty things and dislikes noisy things. Okay. It's 186 pounds. <laughs> He's a big boy. Yeah, they're all very light. Likes Coke. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Likes Mama. <laughs> a little on the nose, I'd say. Get it? No. Cocaine. 268 pounds. Oh, I thought it said Six fleshy foot wash four. towels. 94 pounds! <laughs> He's a little boy. He dislikes milk. I love that. Likes fighting and meat. <laughs> She dislikes alarm clocks. <laughs> <laughs> Sour plums. She likes the occult in Japan. <laughs> she's, she's a weeb. 68 pounds. Squishy, squishy. Wait, Her legs said squishy, squishy. <laughs> or squish, squishy. <laughs> Ew. Driving alone, bad manners. Oversized things. What does what that, that mean? <laughs> Walking, napping, gaming, boredom. It's <laughs> black. Well, it's on like the nose. Yeah. That's very on the nose, but okay. I gotta make sure it is a yeah. thing. Cool. We are prepared. Even though we're probably not. Oh, and we don't have to. Now then, let's begin with a simple We're explanation going. of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. I really do love if the you vote correctly, for all these characters. Only the black and They're very fun. Punishment. Like they were good in the first game. They're the great in this one. Person, yeah. I'll punish everyone besides the black and The only one and that, that might be slightly better is the third right game. Like oh, the whole vibe of that game is so good. Oh. <laughs> now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? Bye. <laughs> if that wasn't concrete, I'd probably roll for the bit. By whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means I mean, go over Twilight everything. Syndrome murder I mean, yeah, that's important, is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game, too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So, oh. I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. The characters in the game were girl A, girl B, girl C, girl D, girl E, and boy F. And the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. She doesn't get a letter. She's using the staff while after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. The first character that the plane was able to control was girl A. That's fucked up. Oh, uh, uh, wait, wait. So girl so, A was... I don't remember. Wasn't Mahiru. No, I think it was Ibuki. No, it could have been Ibuki, not Sato. Nikon? I think. Yeah. Girl A is probably Nikon Tsuki. <laughs> That's a tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff book, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. 
<laughs> a nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. <gasps> ah, my God. nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? Jackie. <laughs> that was girl B. It was one of mine. So. I see. Yeah. The good thing is it's just going. <laughs> So Ibuki was C, D was Mahiru, E was, That's like the complete I guess, Sakura. Of me. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Next is girl C. Ibuki. Girl C. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Did she just call us a I think so. Oh, she's not amused. She's not amused. My hero. I see. Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip girl E and talk about guy F. Here we go. I see. Aren't you guy F? Were you, Hiko? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. <laughs> <sighs> that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. I mean, I know why they did it, but why would they oh. list credits of- Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuriyus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason Fuyuhiko's last name, Kuzuriyu, appears twice. It's true I have a punch, but... To call me out like that. Nagato, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. He's in Fiji because last name is Kazuriya. What is this? Little. I can prove it with this. In the game, Guy F. Kazuriya mentions that he has a little sister. Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F. said in the game. Oh. It's okay. pretty clear. <laughs> I didn't say that. He has a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuriyu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuriyu, play? You probably noticed, right? She was fucking dead. Right. I see! Girl, see! The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality, goddamn. <laughs> winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. <laughs> You said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the game. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easy, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. Jesus. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and set me off. It happened just the other day. What? Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! Jesus. I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, 
I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery was, that easy. It's just, just like Sonia just there, just like... <laughs> ...serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ipuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so... Then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know. I, don't I, know I, I don't It's got to be a reference to yeah, something. Yeah, it but. is, but... I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. Jesus. <laughs> what the heck is that wild connection? Naka may be an ordinary family name. But it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. <laughs> and he also has a strange rivalry going on. Hey, no one cares about that. <laughs> we talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way. Is that true? Getting killed is Friends. <laughs> so the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. The reason girl E was killed, I should be able to assume why based on the content of the game. She was the killer. I see! The reason I have, girl E was killed I have, is because she killed the first victim in the game. I trade. Okay. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But, but... It, is it... Is that true? Girl E... She killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, we made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! <laughs> Talk about that later so we can focus on the case! Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office, and when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body. Dead. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls got the killer to get through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? They were just the real killer, Girl uh, E? Obviously. Girly was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. 
Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then, forget this! <laughs> it's not cute to see an old guy salt. Hey, is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that Girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then, what did Girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? Guess I need to clear that up first. Hmm. 